Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to another Blender Quick Daily Tips and uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, how to create a quick uh, grass, realistic grass in Blender. So let's do it, do this very fast. I'm just going to show you the tips and uh, you can improve it to make it even better than me. So let's uh, just add a plane where we're going to grow the grass. I'll just also add some subdivisions there uh, because I want to deform it a bit so that uh, it's uneven uh, and then I, I will add um, we'll add a displacement modifier to uneven the, the ground, so we just need to find that displacement and then put a new, a new texture, uh, go to that texture, uh, change it from the default, which is image, to clouds. Uh, that should give us a texture, a nice texture, black and white texture to uh, kind of deform uh, our ground. Uh, but uh, I think the scale is a bit high, so we need to change it a bit. Let's see. Now it's uneven, but uh, we don't have enough resolution here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go to back to the modifiers, and above uh, the displacement modifier, I'll add a multi-resolution modifier. So I need to just move it above, and then subdivide this mesh a bit. So I can subdivide this using uh, this cut mal clock setting, or a simple uh, setting. Uh, this, this here is uh, the same as using a subdivision surface. Uh, so if I subdivide this, subdivide make sure that uh, you can see it kind of curves uh, the edges a bit but uh, if you don't want that you just change this to simple and it will retain uh, the, sh uh, the shape but give uh, the mesh more subdivision so let me smooth this a bit uh, go back to the displacement and uh, change the strength a bit I don't want it to be too high something like that now let's dive in into the grass uh, so I'll change this the layout from uh, the default to the shading layout because I want to see the lighting on the materials as we work. Uh, so for the uh, for the grass, we're going to use a hair particle. So we'll go to the particle settings and uh, add a new particle setting. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, you want to change it from the emitter to hair, and uh, this should render some hair in the new viewport. And uh, if you're using EV uh, render, you can go to the render settings and change. Uh, the hair are setting from a strand uh, to strip and uh, it should give you a more sharp uh, top there for the for the grass and uh, you can also use strand uh, but uh, I prefer strip sometimes uh, so now this is too long uh, so uh, the height of uh, the grass is going to be dependent on a few things a uh, first thing that is going to be dependent on is the hair length uh, so you can reduce this down and uh, you can also use, uh, if you turn on advanced settings here, you can also use the velocity to affect uh, the length and uh, rotation of the hair. So I'm just using the randomize here to, to randomize uh, the height, of the length and rotation of uh, the hair. So, but uh, we're not seeing the hair very well right now because we, the, the material is white. Uh, so I'll just select this, uh, get, give it a new material and uh, let's, with a more a brown material uh, for the ground and uh, then uh, but uh, now the grass is taking up the material of the ground and we don't want that so to change to give the grass its own material just go to the material settings and uh, add a second material you can name it whatever you want I won't name mine because I want to keep this very fast uh, name it just create a new material so that we have two materials here and then go to go back to the particle settings and uh, under render, uh, you should see an option to save the material. Now we can se select the second material in the slot we have. Uh, if you don't have a second material here, it won't show up in your particles, uh, in your particle settings. So now we can come in here and change uh, the material to what we want. So uh, this is the principal shader, and uh, it's not a very good shader to use uh, for the hair. So we can use, uh, actually, it's, you can use it. Uh, but uh, if we want to have more control over this, uh, we can add uh, something called, if you go under input, shift A, input, uh, you can find hair info. Uh, this will give you uh, some details about uh, the hair you're using. And uh, if we go through, con if, you, if we go through these nodes, uh, control shift, uh, click on that. Uh, make sure you have the node wrangler add-on uh, enabled to, to enable these shortcuts. Control shift and then click on the node. It will go through the different uh, 
nodes out node output for the node selected you can see this will give us uh, the thickness or the it's kind of the grad, a gradient of each hair to it, it will give it, it will apply a gradient to each hair uh, we also have thickness uh, it's, it's really not it's rendering but uh, the difference is very settled have tangent uh, we have random so random is going to be very useful when we are trying to randomize the color of these uh, this grass or uh, maybe let's do that let's do that right away so to kind of randomize this color we're going to need a color ramp so convert color ramp uh, this will give us control over the color that we are using right now it's set to black and white uh, that's because we have the color ramps the gradient here set to black and white but uh, you can change it to any color you want so we can have green there and the maybe some ground grass so because this is a tutorial and I want for you to, sh to, to show you the results uh, more clearly I'm going to make the colors more dramatic so that you can see the effect uh, better so I'm going to change uh, the I think this is an oper the interpolation from linear to uh, constant uh, so that I have better control over the colors and uh, you can see how you can increase the randomness of the colors and uh, so if I wanted to add another color I'm going to make this more dramatic uh, than this so that you can see the effects more clearly so I'll change this to maybe blue and add another color let me change this to red to red brighter red you can see uh, I think you can also use um, this to create a mat if you want uh, or a carpet or whatever you want uh, so you can see this is what uh, we have so if we change this to linear it will give us a more smooth transition between the different uh, colors but I usually like using constant because I can con I, it, it is easy to be precise on the amount of randomness you want for each color so if you if you want more green you just make sure that uh, green occupies more space on the gradient and uh, you will have more green so so as you saw we had more uh, outputs here that we can use so if I wanted the, the tips to be a little bit brighter I can uh, get what color was it, what uh, output was that so this intercept can be helpful uh, so I can add another a car ramp here to control that gradient and you can see it is making a lot the tips uh, brighter so I can give this a color I want or if I didn't want to control it directly here I can use this as a mask so I add a color let me make sure this is recording correctly good I can add a color a color a uh, mix RGB and I use this as a as the factor and if we preview this now we can mix uh, the different colors so uh, we can make the bottom red and then uh, the top uh, yellow like that or we can use uh, the random colors we are generating from here uh, to be at the bottom so I can just uh, switch this have this as color one instead so you see you see that uh, all the tips uh, the problem is that uh, this color is not so let's let's use a color that is more prominent that is easy to see I'm not sure maybe black I don't know but you, I think you can see the effect let's try changing this to strands yeah, I think you can see you can see the effects more, but uh, I like strips a bit more. Uh, so another tip you can use: I uh, say you had. Let's let me just show you how this would look uh, using uh, this. So this is how it looks. Uh, but uh, we don't have an, enough uh, grass here, so I will go back to the settings here, particle settings, and uh, increase uh, this maybe to. 3000 and I think the height is a bit too much so let me just put it to about 2.5 and uh, the randomness is a lot is a, a lot as well so let me put it at around 0 0.1 like that and uh, I think our, the colors here are a bit too much so let me try going for a more realistic for more realistic grass colors here So I'm not using a reference image here, so that's why uh, my grass may not come out as good. But uh, if you're 
really going for realistic graphs, I'll make sure to be using to look at some reference images. I'm just showing you uh, the different tricks you can use here. So, yes. Yeah, so another thing to make your graphs look more realistic, and uh, if you go to the particle settings and scroll uh, down, you should you, you should see a setting uh, for children. Uh, this will add uh, more particles uh, in your graph. So if I add you can use simple and this will just add more particles uh, for each uh, single uh, grass you have set here uh, it will add 10, uh, part 10 particles for the display and render 100 uh, for uh, for the render uh, but uh, if you want to have more control you can switch on interpolate and uh, this will give you a more artistic I don't know how to call that but uh, it gives you more options so you can also use parting some of these settings, I don't know how to explain them correctly, but uh, you can just look at uh, what I'm achieving here and uh, you see how it affects uh, the grass. You can see this is kind of giving you that uh, you know, exotic uh, far look. Uh, so you can see it's kind of clamping uh, the grass a bit together. And uh, you can also play around with the kink uh, there are a few options here uh, you can see so you will see that uh, if you look closely you see that uh, this is very low polygon grass uh, as you can see there, are a bit, there it's like three segments in here uh, if you want to have more resolution uh, for that you can scroll up uh, where it says uh, segment I don't think this is the option here no it's not these segments so it should be let's see let's see it should be subdivisions steps there is a setting to increase uh, the number of segments you see here. I just need to find it. But anyway, if you increase, I think it's this. Hmm? Yeah, it's this strand steps. And uh, as you increase it, you can see that uh, uh, this increases uh, the resolution for the grass. But, uh, uh, if you're going to use a lot of grass, it's also going to increase uh, the render time and uh, uh, your viewport uh, will also slow down a bit. Uh, so don't use too much of it if you if you want to to have to, to render very fast. If you want your scenes to render faster, uh, so uh, there are a few settings you can play around with here uh, to get better grass. Let's make sure we have the lighting turned on. As you can see, let's increase this a bit. Obviously, cycles will render grass better than EV. So, uh, you, if you want, you can switch that, switch to that. But uh, it will take a little bit more time render than in Eevee as you can see and since I'm recording it's going to take even more time to render but uh, yeah so let's go back to Eevee uh, just so I can show you more settings here and you can so you can also see that uh, my viewport is starting to get lucky to get laggy but uh, so another thing I wanted to show you is that uh, if you wanted this to have a texture behind it or if you wanted instead of grass you wanted to have a carpet uh, you can use a texture on top of these here so if I get a texture so my texture mm, let's say we have there's a carpet texture let me just go with this here maybe uh, that has those patterns you can see if we just preview this you can see the pattern already there uh, but uh, if you want to mix it with these colors let me just just add another mix node here color mix RGB and uh, connect this 
to the top and then bring this to the bottom. Um, if we preview this, you can see you can use the slider to give you how much you want and uh, or change this to a different blending mode. I say overlay and you can see the grass has been overlaid on top of that and uh, we can push this into that. And now we have that. So it may be, may look like a carpet. So uh, you can also, I think the grass is a bit too tall. So let me first reduce that even further. So 0.1. And I think our clamp is a bit too, too much. So I would just have to come back and uh, reduce that a bit. So maybe 0.1. Oh. Let's see how. Uh, let's see. So you can play around with the different settings, and uh, yeah. So you can make a carpet. You can make uh, grass uh, with this, and uh, yes, thank you for watching.